Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. And is this in regards to Job chapter 42, the final chapter? But strangely enough, I don't have any verses to read to you. Because it's weird. Like, I read the chapter, and you know, every, Job is restored, everything is made right, everything is good and okay. And you know, happy ending. Um, he has pretty much, if you look at the numbers, double what he had before, even as far as children go, he pretty much has double what he had before. It's kind of amazing. And it was weird. There are, just, there are some things that I'm going through in my life. I mean, we, we all go through stuff, right? And so there are things I'm thinking about, praying about, trying to wrestle through in my head, trying to you know, make it make sense, make it right. And I read this chapter, and in regards to my personal situation, I just got this overwhelming oomph, this overwhelming sense that everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to be okay. God's got me. It has nothing to do with the content of the chapter. I, I guess, you know, well, I mean, you know, the chapter is about things going well and turning out all right in the end. So in a very general sense, it makes sense. But it felt like in this particular issue, with this particular thing that I'm wrestling with, struggling through, thinking about, praying about. It's like, son, I've got this. I've got this very particular instance that you're thinking about, and it's going to be okay. And it was just really interesting to me because it, it, the peace was real. The, the peace of mind, the comfort of mind was so real in that moment. Just from reading that chapter in the Bible that didn't specifically address that particular issue. So guys, I guess what this episode ends up being is, read the Bible, you never know what you're going to get out of it. You know, I knew things would be okay, and I know I know things ultimately in my life will be okay. I trust that God has my back in every situation, and that He's going to bless me and keep me with Him, close to Him, and keep me where I need to be. But it was just like, for this very specific instance, Son, I've got you. The Bible speaks to you, personally. Even though, obviously, your name isn't in there, and even if it is your name, if you're named Israel or Judah, Josiah or David or something, so in that case, your name is in there, but obviously you're not that particular character. Even if, and even if your name isn't in there, the Bible speaks to you. If, you're, if you'll read it, you've got a chance to speak, and the best way to do that is through His Word. So I've got a little bit more peace of mind. Not even sure why, but I've got it, because I read the Word of God. So, read on, my brothers and sisters. And maybe some of you who aren't my brother or sister in Christ yet, give it a chance. You might be surprised. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I love you, and God bless.